by All Right, LG's latest flagship Android smartphone, the V30, shouldn't really be a sleeper product per se. However, with the deafening buzz of both Apple and Samsung's recent product launches, it's probably easy for the mainstream consumer to overlook an LG phone, even if it is one of the top 5 smartphones to hit the market this year and one of the top 3 Android phones on the market right now, in my humble opinion. Though the iPhone X is looking pretty slick, it's also crazy expensive. Similarly, while the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy S8 Plus and Google's Pixel 2 XL are all great devices, there are trade-offs to each of them, especially with respect to size. The LG V30, on the other hand, may just be one of the most balanced, well-appointed Android phones on the market right now. It's more mechanically efficient than any Android handset as well, with its 6-inch pole display squeezing into an ultra-premium, thin and light frame with the thinnest of bezels. That said, LG's OLED display has taken some criticism recently as having color inconsistency issues. On the contrary, I've personally been testing the V30 for almost three months now, two different units actually, and I have not seen any issue with its display. It's dialed a little cooler than Samsung's AMOLED displays but I actually prefer the V30's setup, as whites seem that much whiter, while it maintains all the contrast and saturation of any OLED display. Further, side by side versus Google's Pixel 2 XL, the new Google phone is significantly larger, though its display is the exact same size. Performance wise, the LG V30 holds its own just fine with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 SOC and 4GB of RAM under its hood, which is the de facto processing engine of most premium Android phones currently. It feels snappy, responsive and delivers excellent battery life as well, with a 3300 mAh battery on board its diminutive frame. About the only Android phones that offer appreciably better battery life currently, would be the much larger Galaxy Note 8 and the more modestly powered Moto Z2 Play, with its Snapdragon 626 processor that isn't in the same league as the Snapdragon 835.